What is a radiating line? A radiating line is a line that echoes from a center point. Radiating lines are found in nature. For example, tree rings or the ripples that form on the surface of a pond when you drop a stone in. Today I am going to show you how you can build up your collage background. And our first step is going to be getting some supplies, a ruler if need be, a pencil, a piece of paper, and a sticky pad or a sticky note. I'm going to turn it upside down and put the sticky note on the bottom of the paper. You can choose whatever side you'd want it on. It could be in the middle. It could be on the side, uh, on the edge. You get to decide. It depends on what kind of angle you want your lines to go. I like my lines on this paper to go towards the center. So I'm putting my post-it note on the center. If I wanted my lines in this piece of artwork to come from the side, I would put it on the side. So right now I'm just going to start maybe a little off of center. Press it down, take a pencil, put a dot on that piece of paper. And then what you're going to do is lay your ruler on the dot choose one side of the ruler. I'm going to work on the side with the inch marks. One inch, two inches, three, four, five, you can see them on this side. And what I'd like you to do is make sure this dot is can be seen. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to make it a little darker so that you can see it. Here we go. I think you can see that better. I'm sorry, there's a storm outside. And something keeps whistling, <laughs> strangely. Okay, I'm going to put my ruler on the dot. And do you see how you can pivot the ruler? And you always want it today to stay on the dot. And it's moving and pivoting from one spot out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the edge of the paper, hold, my ruler down and see where it is on this paper. I'm just going to draw two lines. This could be called your vanishing point. I want all my lines to move to the vanishing point. I'm going to go up a little bit more, keep the ruler on the dot, and draw across. So basically I'm making rays coming from this point. Turning, keeping the ruler on the dot, making another line. Turning my paper, making sure the line is on the edge of the dot, and bringing the line all the way up. Turning my paper, you can see that it doesn't quite reach the top of the paper. That's okay. I can Start at the edge of the paper, go all the way up. I can stop up here and slide my ruler up to continue my line. It might not meet perfectly, but it's not too bad. Bring it back down to the dot. Turn up a little bit more. I'm trying to make rays, almost like rays of sunshine up all the way and you see it's pivoting from this point over 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 all the way across it really depends on where you have your point how your paper is going to look all the way up if you don't quite make it up that's okay you can shift your ruler upward turn 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 ruler is always on the dot if it moves and shifts, just fix it. And do you notice when I draw my line, I pivot, I hold it tight with one hand, and with the other hand, I make my line. 
pivot over, hold the paper, voila. Pull off my paper and as you can see, all my lines are pivoting from one point and they're spreading out in a ray. You can throw away your post-it note. Your name should go on the back. This is the paper that we will be painting and attaching our collage to. Thank you, boys and girls.